So, as you all know, tachycardia is where you have an above average heart rate. And if that's a resting heart rate, it's above 100 beats per minute. But since I kind of feel the symptoms right now, I shouldn't really be worried about it because I just got done running a super hard competitive fast race. So right now my heart rate is going to be way above that 100 marker, but I should be perfectly fine because it's not my resting heart rate and I'm not near my max heart rate. Tachycardia is normal. Sometimes I experience it when I'm running. Like before when I was running 200, my heart was racing so fast. I was nervous. I was sweating. It felt like my heart was going to pump out my chest. And that goes into the symptoms. Like when you have to feel a flutter in your chest, you feel chest pains, you feel dizziness, fatigue. All of those are symptoms of tachycardia. Breaking down tachycardia, there are no positive effects of it, but some of the negative effects you can have is a stroke, heart attack, or even a seizure if you let it get too severe. Did you know that there are natural ways to treat tachycardia? For example, you can use a cold shower or cold towels in the back of your neck, or even an ice bath. There are also other ways to treat tachycardia, for example, medications, surgery, a pacemaker, or a cardio burger. Here we go, we have some athletes competing here at good old Frank M. Lindsay Field. And right now, that athlete is experiencing what we would call good tachycardia. There are no positive effects of tachycardia, but we can't call it good tachycardia because she's exercising. And like we said before, just to touch base, tachycardia can happen like anytime you have fear, stress, or anything that pops up in life can certainly cause tachycardia but it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to go get a doctor's help unless symptoms continue longer than two minutes or even if symptoms get so severe that you need to go to the hospital. The fact is even dogs can experience tachycardia like right now Dawson's dog he is so excited and he's constantly moving and when I feel on his chest his heart is beating because he's so excited because of what's going on since we're at a track meet. It's very common for puppies to even experience tachycardia because they're young, excited, and always want to play around, and they're always running around. Yeah, no, 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 or like, come, come up here. Since we mentioned before what tachycardia is, now we're going to talk about the ways you could track your heart rate, which is at the wrist, the side of your neck, or even at the top of your foot. But if you're more of a technology person, you could track your heart rate with your smartphones, an Apple Watch, a Fitbit, or any other fitness trackers. For instance, I use my Apple Watch to track my heart rate when I'm physically active. Like, right now, my heart rate is at 157. It's not too bad, because I'm practicing. So when looking at the nutritional side of tachycardia, there are certain foods that can help increase your chances of getting it and decrease. Some of the foods that help decrease your chances or even help uh, make it more controllable is like bananas and anything that has high amounts of potassium because the way potassium interacts with your body's cells, it helps with your heart function, everything like that. Uh, certain foods that help decrease uh, or increase your chances of getting tachycardia is stuff like caffeine, which is in your coffee, which I drink all the time, so I'm screwed. Or things like tobacco, medications, alcohol. Uh, and when, when you go to the doctor, if you develop tachycardia, it may be one of those conversations where they're gonna look at your nutrition, see what you're doing there. And they may also look at certain medications that you're taking to see if it's something that they need to change in that category also. So people that are at high risk of tachycardia is like the obese, pregnant women, the elderly, and basically people that will maintain a healthy lifestyle because they're not used to that good nutritious in their diet and the physical aspect in their lifestyle. I cannot do that. I just ran three laps around here and I, I, I can't hey, go so back. Yeah, yeah. Hold, hold on one second, bro. Hold on one second. What's going on? Okay, so do you know uh, what tachycardia is now? Tachycardia? No. Mm -hmm. You don't? No, I'm just playing. I know what it is. It's the rapid heart rate, you know, basically generated from the exertion of a lot of energy. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 